11. Range 11 is what you need to be using, okay? So we're going to, uh, let's see, Kisby is going to be assigned to, let's see, approximately where I'm standing now. Cool. And uh, Tinome is at least going to be to the left side here where I'm standing now, because then it'll be close to group five. Yeah? Actually, why is there a paladin in that group? Oh, that's because we have six paladins. Okay. Um, so Tinome, you got that, right? Yeah, if, if that's that's great. If you can like do like max range from from the from the melody best, that's fine. That's that's perfectly fine. Okay, so that's the first three healers assigned. Um, so we have two priests already in those um, spots. Um, so how many range DPS do we have at the moment? Do we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Well, that makes it easy, right? Um, Let's start with Mike and Lecter. Can you please come to the triangle where I am now? Together with uh, Evergrace and Smuffy. No, actually make that only Evergrace. For now. Right, so please stand with Tinome so we, we know what position you approximately are. Stand with Tinome. Yeah, okay, that works. Um, let's have a look. So what Mages did I call that was no that was Warlock and Mage. Lecter Mike. Okay. So then we're gonna do Oh I didn't count the hunters. We have more range CPS. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven. Okay, so we need to split them up in four groups of three, which is fine, I guess. Right, so okay, so Pores and Love Call are already in this section uh we need another mage here so tris can you go to the triangle please that makes three all right so then we're going to do um elzebran snap uh Razix. yep uh eberk as well can you come to me the triangle. The, so the, the the green, yeah, cool. So you do need to spread out there, right? You can't stack because you need to do range eleven, right? Uh, we have quadros there. So and then we have the range that I didn't call out yet. Please come to the triangle. Not not. I don't didn't mean the healers. The actual range DPS. Well, you came to me. I was standing in no, fine, 11 yards away. I'm also not talking about you. <laughs> there should be more range GPS than just Quentin and Leah, right? Yeah, right. Is it Italian DPS since he's doing Judgment of Light? No? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm, okay. Okay, I guess we... Let me double check this. So I assigned three there. We have 11 range GPS, so there should be... Three groups of three and a group of two. Okay, that works. All right, so make sure to spread out here. Um, and then we have all the healers that are left still. Can you please move to me? Oh, Saren, I missed you. Sorry, my bad. Saren, can you move uh, to Pors and the to the triangle where I'm now? So we got, we got, this is perfect. So we have 12 range GPS, four groups of three. That's perfect, okay. So all healers who have not been assigned yet, please move to me. Oh, uh, there's KT's moving in as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And Lexi has not been assigned either. That's seven. Okay. All right. <laughs> Into some follow. Smart. So we have Evergrace, Lecter, Mega, Tinome on this side. Hmm. All right, so we're going to put a priest and a paladin here with uh, Quentin, Saren, and Leah. Let's make sure Quentin... And, yeah, okay. Ains, can you go here to the triangle? Yeah, with this with this group. That's perfect. Uh, let's have uh, another paladin here. Smuffy, where I am now. Now, now there's two paladins in that group. Well, it depends where you are, so I guess. No, no, I mean, I mean Lexia and Ains both went over there. I didn't call for Alexia though, but that's... 
Um, so we don't have a valid in here yet. Lexia, can you move like here ish or am now? So the most important thing is you remember your position approximately, right? Nobody's going to bite your head off if you're in a, if you're in a rock position. It's basically a bit like like with with uh, with KT. Uh, sorry, with Sethun, um, right? So as long as you if even if you're in a wrong position and you make sure that your range check is 11, it it's not much of an issue that you're in the wrong position. But that range check on 11 is an issue. So Van, can you move to me? So who do we have left? We have left Nath, Feel. Yeah, I guess we can do another healer here. Nath? Yes, yeah, Muff, that can be you, right? Is that cool? Like like Smuffy if you like if you're like here ish? And Zanaya. I'm not really sure what the best place is for you to position, I guess, with this back here. Yeah, let's let's make it like here-ish, Zanaya, where I'm standing now. And then we have Feel still. Let's have a look. Where's not that many Paladins? We have one Paladin here. We have uh, there's several healers there. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Let's make it here. Ish. Yeah, that's cool. It should be in range. Are you in range of the UR, right? Zanaya in range of melee? Yeah, perfect. Because uh, that's something I'd like Zanaya to focus on, hotting the melee up, and that has to do with the frost bolts. He's going to do these frost volleys every, what is it, 30 seconds or whatever. So uh, the melee needs to be hot for that anyway, right? So last thing we need to do is set up the tanks, right? Um, there is going to be mind controls during the fight. And uh, all the mages have gotten assigned marks, and um, they're also spread out, right? So they're in a section where they should be able to reach someone that can be sheeped. Um, I would like to point out that when I'm in bear form, I cannot be sheeped. Uh, most of you guys already know that. But I'm going to need um, a fear or a paladin stun, or whatever you can do something to stun me. But I think the mind control lasts quite long, like 20 seconds. And he does it every minute. So... so I'm going to need um, a sleep from Zanaya, for example, or a fear from a warlock. The warlocks need to assist as well. If I get mind controlled, I will most likely just call it out myself, and then warlocks need to move and start fearing me, and Zanaya will try and sleep me, okay? Good call, but that only lasts eight seconds. Agreed. Good point. This this is also why I think um, if paladins can stun me, that's also fine because it gives them five seconds for a fear or for a sleep to put that on me. Permanent. Yeah. It's an eye. <laughs> I was also thinking about uh, rotating warrior fears in the melee groups, if you want. And we're supposed to have all AOE fears on cooldown because when he mind controls, well, pretty much. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a much better yes so the last positioning I would like to talk about is um, the tanks right so assuming dinky picks up KT because we're killing off ads anyway right so when the transition from phase one to two is uh, uh, we still need to focus on the ads first I'm going to assume there's gonna be like one or two of the banshees still that need to be killed so range DPS you need to focus on that before I start DPSing on KT Melee DPS, well, you need to kill off the A-bombs, but you can't really hurt the skeletons, right? Or the Banshees. Um, so just make sure you're not over aggroing Dinky at the start, so he has a couple seconds to build threat and can position KT. Um, but when the mind controls occur, uh, Dinky might still get mind controlled as well. It's not going to skip the main tank, right? So that's where the other tanks come in. So let's say I'm, for example, positioned here, uh, close to the throne. And uh, Gork, you're all positioned on the side you're now on, also close to the throne. And um, when uh, the mind control occurs, there will be a threat wipe. So it's going to be important for other tanks to run in and take over KT. And we're just going to fight over aggro. And whatever tank has it is going to stick. And the other uh, tanks are just going to go move back uh, to the thrones again. And the only thing I'm not just I'm just not sure about yet is if we want to start out with two tanks on KT um, immediately instead of just one, like for example, 
uh, Gorg and Dinky. I'm, I'm just not sure. Can it be part. No, it cannot be taunted. So it needs to be it's threat, really threat-based, uh, taking over. I don't think we should hold back when we have robust. Yeah, I, I agree. So um, I guess perhaps we can have Dinky and uh, Gork to start out both of them. So basically, um, Ertzel, you, you're going to move a little bit to the left side of the throne then, and I'll go move. To, so let's, yeah, if you go left side more, I'll go more right side. Well, we are going to be splitting up like this, okay? Yep. Okay, so this is the position I'd like everybody to keep in mind approximately. It's, it's not set in stone. Nobody's going to bite your head off if you are in the wrong position. Melee, you can't fuck it up. And this has to do with the patches, right? The fishes will just spawn below you. You need to move out of it. It will most likely be called out by Basa because he generally does these kind of things, right? So, yeah, you're going to get one shot by it. So you really need to pay attention to it. You have three seconds. Oh, yeah. Two seconds to move out. yeah, you got two and a half seconds to move out. On the third second, you're dead. That's it. So if you see red shit, you need to move. Um, so uh, the reason we are actually spreading out 11 yards, right? We're using the range tech is because KT does two uh, abilities on um, the, well, anyone in the raid. I think that's like not melee DPS. And uh, one, sorry? sorry? A mana bar. Yeah, that has a mana bar, exactly. Uh, so, and and these, the, one of them is this, this arcane, arcane crap. And uh, he'll just he'll just explode, and you're gonna you lose about fifty percent of I think your base mana, um, and it also yeah. does damage to you. So that really sucks. It only deals damage to people around you. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. right, okay. You, you just lose head. half your mana. Oh, you just lose half your mana. Okay, so you don't lose your health yourself, right? That's the eleven oh. yard. That's the people who are within ten uh, ten yards. Yeah. Exactly. This is why this range check is very very important. But there's one ability that's even worse. And this ability will chain, and that's the, the ice cubes, right? He will cast uh, this, this frost bullshit on people, and they're going to take 130% damage of their total health at the time. So flasking for this fight is not as useful as it might seem. Because, well, <laughs> these people need to be targeted quickly by quick heals. Uh, Zanaya will not be healing on this, because a druid healer is generally not as good for this. Um, but shielding and click quick flash of lights is going to save these people. Right, so bar a couple of main tank healers, uh, we need the whole whole healer team to focus on those people that are getting the frost tombs, and basically they will they will make people an ice block, and like I said, they will take 130 percent of their damage uh, over like I don't know several seconds. You five do have seconds. a couple of seconds. Well, they take a lot of damage very fast, so you need to seconds. react really quickly. Five seconds apparently. Okay, so if they're not healed within a couple seconds, they're dead. That's it, basically. Right, so this is the second reason we need to spread out, because if there's people within 11 yards of you, it will chain, right? So if I'm close, if I'm standing, for example, between Maika and Smuffy, like I'm standing now, and I'm too close to either of them, and I, I get I get an ice block, or Smuffy gets it, or Maika gets it, and everybody within 11 range of him or, or her gets ice blocked as well. And then we're fucked, because everybody's going to die all over the place. So spreading out, using this range check, is like the most important thing you can do on this fight. Um, so, then the last part basically is the 40% bit, right? When KT hits 40%, there's going to be 5 adds, and it's going to be total chaos. Um, because he's going to keep using all his abilities, like he did in the previous 60%, but there will also be 5 adds. These 5 adds, 3 of them can be shackled. That's great, Por, so I don't really think it matters, but go for it. Because the fight's not going to last 35-35 minutes, right? Um, but the... So we have five of these ads, sure, um, and three can be shackled, and um, yeah, this needs to be called out on disc. So when we have uh, several targets shackled, the last two ads need to be tanked. And depending on what tanks are free at the time, um, so let's say if Dinky and me are, for example, tanking uh, KT, then uh, Gork and and Earth, so you both need to pick one add up, and you need to need to need to kite it basically. Piercing Howlet, uh, you need to uh, what's it called again? That other movement warriors have. It's Hamstring. an in hamstring it. Yeah, do all that stuff to it. I think they can be feared as well, but I'm not sure. But they can definitely be slowed. So Piercing Howl by by Gork and Earthsoul is just great. That really helps. So because they hurt a lot as well, and they do some debuffs on you that um, 
either do a lot of damage or make sure you can't get healed. I, I'm not really sure about the abilities those guys have. Yeah. Uh, the ability they get is that they get 15% increased damage every time they target a new person. Oh, okay. Sounds painful. Stacking up to so 99. Want, so you want right, to okay. Targets. Sorry? So if you only piercing how and it hits targets, the moment they hit somebody, they will one shot it. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. but it's just important to kite them because they can't be really, really be tanked. Um, but you need to also build a lot of threat on them. So maybe if you have a defensive puppet, build threat for five seconds, then start kite. Yes. Yeah, so but just... it also means I'm a very bad, bad uh, class to actually kite it because I don't have slowing abilities. So it's it's probably gonna gonna have to be two warriors who are gonna be kiting them. But we'll see how that works out. According to what I heard on the video you sent, they can be tanked. Yes, yeah, just, just they cannot, they can never switch targets because then they will watch what people. Exactly, exactly. So they are tankable, so, technically. Yeah, I know, but, it, but what happens is they're going to come in and they're not going to be immediately on the tank. So they already switch at least once then to the tanks when they have aggro. Yeah. So, and if they then switch again because of healing aggro or whatever, then they already have a third target. And well, then it's over, game over uh, for that person that gets it. Either way, uh, we're, we're just going to try and handle it the way we can. Oh, they increase the damage, right? I wasn't sure about the exact ability. Um, right, but I think that's it. So 40%, 5 adds come, 3 can be shackled. We'll call it out when 3 targets are shackled. That We'll call out for no more shackles. That means if you're calling it out, you also need to uh, interrupt any shackle you're breaking, uh, you're casting at the time. Because otherwise, if we cast a 4th shackle, K2 will cast an ability on them and break all shackles. And then we're fucked, right? Because they will, well, that's going to be massive chaos. Um, so three targets are going to get shackled. And we'll call out when a third one is shackled. So you don't shackle a fourth or a fifth. Priests should be spread out as well. So yeah. Um, perhaps we can assign one priest at, at, at like each third of the room to start shackling, I guess, ish. We already saw it. I saw it. That's great. Okay, perfect. Well, any questions? Uh, Did I forget anything, Nath? Question was, you mentioned about frost resistant gear. Are we actually putting that on, or...? Yeah, well, there's... Um, people are a bit torn about this, right? Because um, a lot of the damage that's going on is actually frost resist, uh, frost damage, because he does... Um, uh, because he does these volleys on the raid, right? Gotcha. So if you... You could equip a couple pieces of frost resistance where you don't lose as much DPS. No, don't go flasking, Lexia. It's not worth it for this fight. Well, if you want to pop a distilled wisdom, go for it, but don't f f use a flask of the Titans. Don't use that. Um, yeah, so that. So, people, if you have a couple of good pieces of frost resistance, then use it. Don't use too many, though, just a couple. Also, Switch cloak out. Yeah, also, for for example, yeah, also Frost uh, Resistance Aura is going to be good here. So, any questions? Kill him. All right, so we're going to go all out on the first attempt, right? So I think we explain, I explained pretty much everything into, um, well, a lot of detail even. And um, World Buffs is going to help us massively. So I suggest we go all out, full elixir it up, everything. And... Um, Let's try and one-shot this fucker. I mean, it's probably going to be hard because we don't have much experience on the fight, but let's just uh, let's try it anyway. Let's, uh, while we walk to the boss, recap uh, phase one indeed. Just for everybody. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was, I was still some, some stuff I wanted to explain about that, but we don't need the, the positionings uh, for that. So, uh, phase one. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be a ramp building, right? And with that, I mean, the waves are going to increase in speed uh, with, uh, uh, with the way they're kind of come in. So we have the skeletons that need to be killed. They need to be prioritized. But uh, one important thing, they can also be shackled, right? So if a priest sees one of these ads, make sure to shackle it if the range DPS is just being too slow on it. Um, there was some videos in which was said that the Banshee sh should be prioritized, but the Banshees actually move really slow. The skeletons move much faster. So... Yeah, um, range DPS should be um, prioritizing the skeletons, in my opinion, and then the banshees. Um, so, but do shackle them, the skeletons, if you can, please, priests. Uh, then we have the banshees themselves. Well, like I said, range DPS needs to focus on those. And um, hunters, you already know this. Please do not use uh, 
uh, multi-shot. And uh, the Warriors should not be using Thunder Fury in Phase 1, please. Because yesterday, they had a nice... Um, we had yeah, a nice, nice pull, so... Uh, then we have the ab Abominations. Uh, they will be tanked, but they can be stunned, right? So do whatever you can stun-wise. It'll help a lot. It'll avoid a lot of damage. They hit like a truck still, so you can get like... Uh, really two shot or something by these. So please let a tank pick it up before you start hitting it, unless you can open it with a with a stun or something. Great, Dinky, me, or Van Helen. I think you have some as well, Van. Yeah, yeah, true, true. true. Uh, for frost protection potions, please. And chug them now. What's important in the phase one is that you don't tunnel vision. Always look around you for mobs. Yes, that's correct. So you, if you're standing still looking in one direction, you're definitely doing the wrong thing. You need to look around constantly, turn around constantly. You need to check it, right? So and range 11. Um, so the A-bombs can be stunned, very important. So unless a tank already has it open with a stun on it, because they hit like a truck still. Anybody wants to add anything? Or have any questions? I just wanted to say, noticed last night at a feeble attempt, or what you want to call it. I understand, of course, that the skeletons move fast, but if you don't start, though they are slow, they have so much health, though, those banshees. Yeah. You have to start damaging them the moment they start moving. Yeah, well, um, what we could do is... Um, let me think. We can have, uh, let's say, Warlocks. Let's do it like this. Let's have Warlocks and Hunters focus on Skeletons first. And Mages, uh, because of the uh, Ignite, I guess, you start on the Banshees always when you see them, okay? Uh, Dre, I managed to yeah. kill Skeletons yesterday without having any problem i think they need to there's something that triggers them into what the the explosion yeah, yeah. melee so it, it is, is what it triggers them all. Don't it's melee range up. dark don't do it it's not you don't it. want to go too far and pull the groups ahead of you either I, i'm just saying that yesterday i killed like three or four skeletons and they didn't explode on me so it must be something else uh, well according to the videos i've seen it really is melee range when they explode it is you either resist or something, or yeah. I resisted four times. Something like that. Yeah. I um, uh, I'd like to urge whoever, whatever mage is uh, doing that with the cross, don't do that during the raid, right? Unless you need to. No, shoot. no. So uh, relax. I'm still okay, testing okay. the macro. Okay. Well, it works. Trust me. <laughs> right. Trust Any you. more questions? Yeah. No one still needs frost protection potion. Please trade me now. Um. Or the... Yeah, I would actually um, start using the frost protection potions at around 40% when the shit hits the fan. Because um, at the start, the fight's not as chaotic for the first 60%, right? So we will be much more in control than for the for the last 40%. So you can pre-pot a frost protection potion now, I guess, but make sure you have one ready for like the 40% phase. Because with the 40% phase, besides... Um, uh, shackling the, the ads and it's going to give chaos, there's people going to be dying uh, because of this, we, we need to burn down the boss as fast as we can safety cooldowns for the last 20% because he still has a lot of HP and um, yeah, also assuming we're going to get to there just use recklessness on 20% on HP Right, can we do this? I think so uh, can Sweet. people log in? Happen though, please. I've only got like four minutes left on my song flower. It's just beards. <clears throat> just trying to get a little bit of it. You got enough grit, baby. I feel like I'm missing a buff. Yes, I am missing a buff. I'm missing might. <clears throat> I think we all are our warriors, haven't either? Yeah, you don't.
All right, let's do a ready check. You got it, uh, Dark? Can I have a fortitude buff, please, on Dark Snyder? Thank you. All right, everybody's ready. So everybody needs to move in at the same time because when one person hits the green patch, it's going to start. So yeah, everybody move to the front, please. Move to boss on me. See a warlock still standing at the back. Right, let's move. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Have fun. Yes. We got him. So you got to look around you constantly, right? If you're only looking in one direction, you're doing the wrong thing. One direction. One direction. One direction. I detect undead, Dre. <laughs> okay, that's great. Uh, thank you, Neth, for uh, sharing that with us. Danger sense is ticketing. Skeleton. Can we have Blessing of Might, please, on the Druids? It's still missing on Veronka and me. Uh, Tino, please. Yeah, we'll do. Abomination? Abomination. On it, Hammer of Justice. Uh, okay. Alright, so Gork, that's your corner, okay? Or Urzel, can you come to where I'm standing, the bear? Yep. Cool. Dink, can you go here, where I'm standing now? Okay, and I'll take this side. So we don't have four oh, tanks in different good. positions. Oh, Dre, okay. should we judgment of light abominations? Mm, I don't know. Incoming. Probably died too quickly, but guess you might. Make sure to, to stun them, guys. The A-bombs need to be stunned. They hit like a truck, right? Open with a stun if you need to. Kill the skeletons. Range DPS should not be focusing on A-bombs. We have more than enough melee DPS. Alright, so mages are focusing on a Banshee. That's great. Looking good, guys. We got skeletons here. Kill the skeletons. Another Banshee coming in. So mages focus on that. So we got an A-bomb here. That's mine. Stun it. Good job. It's getting next to the Banshee. We have skeletons incoming, kill them. Illumination coming. Yeah, Come the mages are on it, it's fine. Okay, we got skeletons incoming. The back, yeah, perfect. Does that work? Do you get soul shards from them, guys? Yeah. That's not fast enough. They need to die faster, guys. You can soul shard, but the last second. Okay, that's perfect. Mind flare works as well. That's nice. Leona, don't Se run to skeletons. Several skeletons. skeletons. You cannot go to the skeletons. Mission 14. Gork, 14. you got that one? Yeah, Gork got it. Yeah, we have four tanks assigned, guys. So you don't need to call out the A-bombs, please. We can see them. We're here. We're assigned to corners. Please spawn them Yeah, yeah we, 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 it's cool, guys. Please please leave the, the, the calling out to me if you don't mind, okay? We have it sorted. Everybody's looking around. Okay, perfect. Dinky got that one. Banshee's still coming in. Okay, still several skeletons coming in. Keep it going. Let's focus skeletons. Other side skeleton coming in. We're getting way too close, guys. Back side, two skeletons. Kill them. Then we have another Banshee. Another. We have the skeleton there in as well. Good job on the A-bomb. Skeleton behind. Watch out, melee. Back, More back, skeletons back, incoming. Back, back. Two skeletons. Guys, focus around you. A bomb incoming, I'll take that one. Two skeletons left side, Kelsuzot. Yeah, that's cool. Kill those. Bomb behind the A bomb. Kill, there's a Banshee incoming as well. Kill that. Two more skeletons left side. Yeah, they got them. Okay, cool. Looking good. Get the A bomb. And several skeletons still incoming on that side as well. So we have a Banshee, right? Mages are on that. Perfect. Keep it going, keep it going. Two skeletons incoming. Benchy behind this A-bomb. Yeah. 
Gork has that A bomb, that's great. Kill the Soul Weaver, the Banshee thingy. And then there's an on the other side is another Banshee incoming. I'm marking it up with a cross for now. So kill the moon first, then the cross. Skeletons, yeah, kill the skeletons. Nice one on the shackle. There's a forty five seconds till next phase. There will be some ads that need to be dealt with. So really? Yeah, there now. Skelly got into the middle, yeah. Dinky, Dinky has the A-bomb. There's a skeleton behind the A-bomb, kill that. Another one behind Guys, the we need to kill the cross, we need to kill the cross now. For a range DPS. Yeah, it's 25 seconds. Moon as well. Four DPS guys, pump everything. Okay. Kill the moon first, range DPS, focus moon. Listen, can you grab the a bomb? Which one? I'll take this one. This one. Thank you, because Kelly yep. is coming in the same. You got yeah, several skull weavers. Good job. I got Kelly inside. Okay, range Elder Range GPS, focus on that one first. I'm gonna mark up a skull next that needs to die second, and then we're gonna have to cross third. All range GPS on the soul weavers. Eric, kill the one we're on trust. Everybody. Fisher, get out of the Fisher, guys. Fisher. Good job. And go into position, please, if you can. We need to. Range GPS needs to keep going on the. Crap. Mind uh, control, mate. It's our mind control. Skeleton still? Yeah, one behind. Going to circle. Think he's blinded. It's gonna end soon. Group two. Interrupt. Can we have some CC on Hala, please? Good job. Feared. Group two, interrupt. Soul Weavers need to die. Range GPS, keeping the Soul yeah. Weavers. Is there a battle res at all? Or? Yeah, soon. Not that. Not yet. Uh, we have no tank on the boss. Eric's a tank. Uh, let's be van when you can. That's Keep interesting. Eric did Borg die then, or what happened? No, it got feared. Okay, uh. We need to move into the middle. We're gonna move into the middle, but Eric's is that an option? No, it's not. This is interesting, right? Because if all right, if Anne's not coming back up, so I... ah, we have ten people dead. Twelve, so ten mic controlled. What went wrong is the DPS was too low on, um, well, the uh, Soul Weavers mainly. Because uh, we were getting overwhelmed by that, and then the positioning of KT was not amazing, so the melee was just not in the right positions either. And then we got MCs, which were not controlled because we had mages getting mind controlled as well. So, yeah, it was a complete shit show, but it happens, we needed to learn to fight, right? Pretty much. <clears throat> I really don't understand why, Vasa. Is it a threat thing? Okay. If it's about the MC, yes, main tank will always be mind controlled. Is that so? Because I. I didn't realize we, that. We told you that we tried to write it to you because you were talking about the text. I heard you say it at some point, but... Um, yeah. Okay. Always the highest on threat, which hopefully is the main thing. Should be. Okay. So are we wiping? I hope so. Hey Stop pal, didn't wanna, uh, wanna let me say yeah, I will off. Just go stand in the fissures or something. Don't, don't. You can't, we need to run in, right? Because we start to fight as soon as you res in the middle of the room, so. 
It's a resin run pack. <clears throat> Alright, so I think we got a pretty good idea of what's going on. So, um, there's a couple things I think we can improve in phase one even as well, right? I don't know if the uh, healers were actually assisting on killing skeletons, but please do so. I mean, besides shackling, you can also smite them or wand them or do whatever you can to assist in DPS, right? I mean, anything helps. So um, they might die fast, but we still got hit by some of them. And that's a lot of damage that needs to be healed up, right? So I'd rather have the, even the healers assist on them than getting one skeleton in the raid. Um, yeah. Also, it might be a good idea if... If I know warlocks are mostly assigned to kill skeletons together with hunters, right? But perhaps they can still dot up the soul weavers. We are. Okay. So to assist immediately with the uh, with the mages, because there's there's not going to be enough debuff slots on there, so they can just get fully dotted up while you're still killing the skeletons and such. Uh, bear back to a second. Sure. Cool, is he in range? Okay, it's probably the wrong expansion. The palace have turn evil here. On classic. They yes. do. They do have that, yeah. No, it's yeah. turn on that here. They can turn... it doesn't work on them. It doesn't work on demons, but uh... you should look on undeads. Yeah, yeah. Should work fine. Ebrick, are you here? Who are you asking that, Lexia? Alright, so main thing for now is improve the DPS in phase one, especially at the end, right? We need to really need to pump it harder. Um, and don't be afraid to use some of your cooldowns, especially your shorter cooldowns, right? Um, and that all especially goes for the, for the range DPS. Use your short cooldowns to blast down those banshees, because those are the biggest issue, it seems, at the moment. They need to die faster. Yeah, let's hope it works. We have less damage now. It is what it is. That's why, why? I was like saying we need to pump harder, right? Less more damage, more experience. Gork. Exactly. Lift weapon gork. Yeah, the, the unequip the Thunder Furies, please. Welcome back, Eberk. Alright, let's start some buffing, please, if you haven't already. Held a bit back because my Paladin buffs were running out in phase one. <laughs> Hmm. I totally forgot to use suppers, I don't know about you guys. I'm not really sure if there are any use here. Well, I guess it's more damage. Yeah, a couple more suppers run. Alright, let's have a look. Are right, we looking ready to check? Everybody's ready. All right. Um, can everybody move to the front, please? Yeah. 
to the front of the carpet. Move, move, move. Lecta, genome. Yeah, let's go. So tank, same positions again, please, okay? So that seemed to work fine. Try to stay further out range so you can start casting immediately. Also works. Mind play is pretty nice on the skeletons because it slows them, right? It's pretty cool. But it's only for shadow priests. Yeah, I know, but still, it's useful. Claren is a golden lady here. <laughs> A bomb, all right. Yeah, so we weren't coming. Yep. It's marked with a moon. Skeletons coming in all around. A bomb, I'll pick that up. So we were. Don't be afraid to mark it, uh, because that's going to be handy mainly when we have several soul weavers, right? So we know what to focus first. Skull first, cross, cross second. Dinky has the A bomb, great. So a bombs are not an issue. Don't have a new soul river. Good job. And don't be afraid to mark it up. So the range GPS is that's great. You're right. Okay, I was gonna say there's a skeleton in front of it. Let's kill that first. Remember, the skeletons only have two KHP. Yeah, but they need to die fast because if they reach us, we take a lot of damage. But mages can't really switch with the 3.5 cost. Right. 3.0. I used to say, boss. <laughs> Skeleton incoming, other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so A bomb, I'll take that one. Kill the, kill the skeletons. Yeah, they got a march. It's, uh, it's not marked. Mm, yeah, okay, good job. Dinky got the A bomb. Yeah, Dinky good. has the A bomb. Kill the skeleton. skeleton. Crash. Good job. Yeah, I'll mark it with a cross now. It's incoming, so other side, Soul Weaver. I'll mark that with a skull. So kill the cross first, though. That's interesting, right? Because we have less DPS by far. That would be the end. Yeah, yeah, that's at the end, though. We're not at the end yet, but yeah. Looking good, guys. This is going much better. Skeleton behind Abomination. <laughs> two, ske two skeletons left. So we have a Soul yeah, Weaver again. I'm gonna mark it over the cross. Yeah, correct. So to kill the cross first, kill the cross first, then the skull. So that was a skeleton guy somewhere, so it got got through, right? Yeah, That's a lot of damage left. generated. Kill the skeletons. Come on, focus on the skeletons. So kill the cross, kill the skull, and then the cross again. Skeletons, skeletons. Got the ape bomb. I'll take this one. Two skeletons with the soul reaver. Kill the skeletons, guys. One coming in fast. Good job there, Saren. 
two skeletons left side also behind each other. Shit, another one. Dink at the Y bomb, yeah. Three left side. Two more left yeah. side. Gotta be quick. We have a skull and a cross. Yeah, I'll take that one. We have a skull and a cross marked at the moment. Kill them. Kill the soul weavers, guys. Kill it, kill it. Move away from, it, move away from the soul weaver. Move away from the soul weaver. Melee on the bomb. Gork, you got it? Yeah. Four now? Yeah, Fucking hell. Okay, kill the cross first. Think you be ready? Group one, go on, kill the Zot. Hey, go kill Skull. Kill cross first, then the skull, then, then the square. I interrupted. Then the triangle. Range GPS, go on the skull. Fisher, move out. Group two. Group three after. Kill the range GPS, make sure to kill the um, soul weavers. Yeah, okay, we still got two soul weavers up. Drinky tanking. <laughs> interrupt, interrupt. Nice. Alright, so, so one soul weaver is still left. Uh, one is in a rate, 44%, needs to die. Oh, the 22. Oh, okay. There was no marks anymore, I guess. So one soul weaver left, 16%, kill it, and then spread out. Go to your positions. Uh, so, One. we have no tank on it at the moment. Wurzel and Dinky left. All right, take a good look. Take a good look at what's happening. So, just just, just learn from this fight. Just get out, get out, get out of the fishes. Yeah, just learn from this. To see what's going on. Keep keep going, keep going. All tanks are dead, so Eric's is tanking now. Keep Eric's up if you can. Spread out. Make sure to spread out. Interrupt the frost bolts he casts. Can whoever is um, um, trans transmitting the noise, please don't. All right, just get a feel for the fight. Get a better feel for the fight. Shadow Fisher, move out. So the Shadow Fisher will not only be on the melee, as you see, right? It'll also be on range GPS. And use the range check, range 11. Mind like control, sweep them. Move. <laughs> yeah, if you're not a healer, then you need to move away for, for, uh, for them, right? I mean... I, was, I couldn't heal my main... I couldn't heal my tank because there was I was within 11 range of someone constantly. I was blocked from going in. Yeah, so range GPS, you need to move. If you're in range of a healer, you need to move. Healers have prior. We know by that, just because there was so much chaos with Sor Force Soul Weavers up, we'll sort it. We'll sort it. This is going much better already, because look at what this, this shit show we got at the 66% so far, right? So, And this is only second attempt. So we're going to kill it tonight. Couple more attempts and we got it. Of course. Easy. So it is important that he move, gets moved to the middle, but it's even more important that we kill the soul weavers first, because that's what's screwing us over now. We're getting, we're panic, panicking a bit because the soul weavers are not down, and people have a hard time to position them because all the range DPS needs to get to the soul weavers still. Can I ask a question, Dre? Yeah, of course. Does the Soul Reavers only detonate when they reach a certain target? Because I saw it moving towards uh, DPS, and Veronica was catforming it from behind. I have no clue. It doesn't, it doesn't say anything on your, on your cheat. Did it say anything on no, your cheat sheet? No. Because, because, because perhaps it works like this. If there's a target that has aggro on it, and that's not in melee range, then he doesn't explode or do AoE damage on a raid. I'm not 100% yeah. sure about this. Yeah, but, because it was moving sideways, and Veronica was just killing it from behind with... No explosions. 
two people die, so we can well, get in. Let's make sure to um, let's make sure to to check that out then, right? I mean, um, so I suggest when like several mages, one's gonna have like ignite ignite aggro. I'm guessing uh, on that. That makes most sense to me anyway. So uh, what we can try is just have melee DPS them from the back, I guess. But only if they're close. We can't go into the cubbies, or because we'll pull the whole. Um, Maybe he's speaking only for the last ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think only I... talking about the last couple of ones to exactly. to, to, split it, to speed it up. But the issue is there with that is still that KT needs to be interrupted, so we can't have all melee go on that, right? Uh, also, rogues one com one combo point uh, kidney shot and abomination. Don't build combo points and shit. So let's put it like this, because we made a split up with. Okay, so what if we do it like this? We have our rogues are going to assist on killing the soul weavers from behind when KT becomes active, right? So every every soul weaver that is being tanked by a ranged DPS um, or that is the main target at the time, uh, and the rogues try and kill it from from behind, assuming it's safe, because it's something we're just testing now, I guess. And I'm not really sure how well this works. What Swuffy just said, if you over aggro, that can wipe us. <laughs> yeah, well, not just that, it'll kill you, at least. Dre, mm -hmm. since we're doing tests uh, again, I went and I killed like five skeletons, as long as it's outside the active area where we are. I'm pretty sure that we can kill them, we can okay. kill them outside. Okay, but so if you want... So I have, a, I have a suggestion then. I, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Uh, that's what I was going to suggest. <laughs> Man, no problem. No to, problem whatsoever. To, to clarify the skeletons, they pick a target. If they get within range of that target, they blow up. However, I shield slammed one because I was under the assumption they wouldn't change. It changed to me, and that's what blew up. Uh, well, Sarf, you cut a couple of bots when you did it. You, you got change color in your character or something like that. So my guess would be let them like uh, the first uh, 10, 15 yards like get healing aggro and then melee just like squish. But only only if there's no um, only if there's no a bomb up, right? Um, yeah, of course. But sure, you can try and assist on it. I mean, if it works, it works. Yeah, and so one, do up. one does paladin to try fearing anything. I don't know how well it will work, but just wondering. Uh, don't you aggro the pools if uh, you get too close to them? Wouldn't that, if you fear them as well and they run to the pool, it will empty? No idea. Pool? Would expect so. I mean, feared mobs, fair stuff. I mean, I well, there's there, there's a good chance it, it does pull them. So yeah, not yeah, a huge chance. risk that. Yeah. You can stun the skeletons though. Yeah. yeah, and they can be shackled. They can be slowed. You can do a whole lot of things to them. Do the melee have enough stuns for the big A bombs? Yes, more than enough. So if uh, the healer, the paladins, just save them for if the skeletons get too close and we can stun them? That's a good call, let's do that. Every roll can one combo kidney shot. You don't need more than one combo point. Yeah, uh, true. Every, every warrior can stun, every... Well, I can stun, so... It's all the only melee that cannot stun is Varunka, so... But yeah, stuns are good for the... And and uh, I don't see many shackles, by the way. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, but I'd like to see more of them. And not at the start, right? But uh, when we have like to hit like the three-minute marker or something, then, then I'd like to see more shackles. Because there's no reason for all these skeletons to come in. Um, I tried yes. to shackle every skeleton that was close by. We can shackle more. Yeah, that's great. But we can shackle more, because we have well, six priests, right? So... Was decent shackling on the left side, to be honest. When especially when lots came at the at the end. Okay, cool. There was, was about, there was about three or four shackles on the same side target as we, we constantly broke it. Yeah, mm. yeah, but then they were killed. I mean, it, it slowed them enough so yeah, yeah, three yeah, or yeah. four could be killed. That was really nice. 
All right, so let's have a look. How are we on buffs? Buffs are looking good. Uh, one more thing. Uh, the transition of Kel'Kazad is not doing properly as well. Uh, only Dink is main tanking, but there should be another tank riding with him. Gork should be on it, right? Gorg was there and he got unlucky because the fissure was like literally right underneath him. Um, thing is, I got the first mind. Okay, please communicate because these things we have to know. I got the first mind control I was tanking at that time. I uh, trying to and uh, was high up on the threat table and then I yeah, got mind controlled. That's fine. We, we need tanks on the walls. That's what I'm saying. But it went pretty fast to me and Eric. Yeah, yeah I'll just. <sighs> I'll, I'll just assist keep an eye on me as well, I guess. I don't know. Gotta keep an eye on threat and make sure that there's always two tanks above you. Alright, so a couple of people still missing health and mana. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's move. So how far do we actually get him? Sixty something. Sixty something, I think. That for such oh, an attempt, 60. that wasn't that wasn't a bad. That, that, wasn't, that wasn't bad at all for such an attempt, right? Because it was pretty messy still with the soul weavers. So we need to improve on that. Uh, short storm is some saying something which I actually like. Um, um, there, if the casters are using uh, cooldowns like trinkets and such, please use them for the uh, for the last soul weavers. Or actually, if you use well, this phase is five minutes, right? So you can use it like. On the first soul weaver we see, or the second possibly, and then save it until the end of the phase when there's only when there's several soul weavers up still. If you don't have an active trinket, act activated trinket, then it is what it is, I guess. But think you got that one? Yeah. Nice. It, most of the time, I try to ignore you, short storm, but sometimes yes. it just can't. Yeah. So this was just really smart. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, kidding, mate. Alright, A bomb. Dinky got it? Or is it Ritzel? I got it. Okay. Skeleza! Yeah, nice. Skeleza! Okay. Yeah, okay, we have someone mark them up, so that's great. Someone, someone. Yeah, Skelly. I'm marking it. Saren, right side? Yeah, good job. That's <laughs> nice. You were looking left side and then you turn around for the mind flay. That was funny. <laughs> Skelly behind a bomb. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, good Over job. There. Nice one, kiss. We have a, we have a Soul Weaver again, uh, right side of KT. Okay. Kill it, kill it with fire. A bomb for Dink. Yeah. Kill the skeletons. I still see skeletons. Good job. Seems like the warlocks are spread out as well. Right? That includes Saren. That's great. Skeleton, yeah, red side, right side. Okay, good job. Skeleton, Resix on it. Okay, great. Looking good. A bomb for Urzel. So we have a second Soul Weaver already incoming, right? Right side of where the skull is now. A bomb, I'll pick this one. Nice yeah, that also works. That's great. Skelly, two even. A bomb. A bomb for Urzel. How are we looking on Soul Weavers? Okay, we got a square incoming. Kill the square first now. Double skeletons behind uh, Abomination. Good job. Love coils on him. Good got job. them. <laughs> okay, so we're killing the moon. And then we're going to kill the skull. Left side of the moon is a skull coming towards us as well, together with the skeleton. 
Okay, nice one pick up on the A bomb. Several skeletons now at my side. Don't see? See, don't Dark? Run. Don't. It does happen. I didn't get damage. We did. We Whoa, did. the rest of the raid did, right? Not sure if you had your raid frames up, but like 20 people went like 50% HP. Then why don't I get the damage? I have no idea. I resisted as well. No, 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 it's impossible. Okay, I'll take this one. Kill the soul weavers, guys. Focus on the soul weavers range GPS. We have a skull, a square, and a cross. Cross is dying first. Then please go to the square because the square is closer than the skull. Range, and we still have some skeletons as well. I got the A bomb. I'll pick that one up. Skelly coming in behind the A bomb. Two of them. Now trying to move the A bomb, but it's stunned. So we have the skeleton, guys. It needs to die. Good job. Kill the skeletons. Kill the skeletons. Okay, so this is where the shit is gonna hit the fan, right? Hard DPS now. Nuke them. Start using trinkets if you have them. Wait, wait, can you take this uh, A bomb? You have another yeah, A bomb? I'll take it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Nice. Skeleton on it as well, though. Just behind it. Watch it. Several Definitely skeletons right. from that cub. Right side. <laughs> Dre up, okay. Dre died. Please, I got the able. My healers move back. Move Gork, back. Gork on KT, please. Um, melee DPS cross first. Watch out, watch out, melee. You're right, right. Or rogues, oh, rogues, I mean, right? Just rogues. Let him get to the middle. Fishers. Don't know why, Colonel. He's going to the middle. Interrupt him. Interrupt it. Nice. Group two next. Go in your groups. Spread out, guys. Spread out. Don't hear Rogue Strike yet. Dre's back up. Equipped in the Furious again. Already did better. Group 3. After this. Interrupt. Nice. Group one. So make sure to fear and mind control and then fear and sheep mind controls. As in now. I'm also fear and mind control. Oh, that's interesting. DPS is weight. <laughs> I don't think he could do anything about that. So move it to the middle again, Erzul? Yeah, good job. Yeah, on it. Did he? Oh, okay. Keep interrupting. Dre has it, Dre has it. This fell dinky. This fell dinky. He keeps fucking moving on me. There we go. That's fine. a lot of... Okay, uh, I think it's Veronica. You think it's Veronica what? Getting ice block there and change on the melee. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Thought so, done. that means the druid tank is an issue as well. No, no, no. It's because he's power shifting. Oh. It's wrapped up. Then I was staying. Yeah, that's cool, Veronica. No worries. What now? Alright, keep going. So who's tanking it? Basa has No, yeah, Basa has it. And Dinky's just behind him. In control, sheep on Basa. Mind control, sheep, fear, do whatever you can. Drinky, sheep, drinky. Any mage. Okay. So you got some middle. Not getting CC'd here. Yeah, fear it, stun it, do whatever you can, CC them. So the mind control lasts what, 10 seconds? It's not 20. I think it's 15 or something, but not sure. And old school audience feel it's oh. 20. It is 20? Didn't feel like 20. Mm. 
So what's kind of interesting is here is uh, we all the healers are still alive. Doc, you didn't next interrupt, or did you do it as well? I just did it then. Okay. Yeah, was, um... Wash machine, you're next. Wash, nice. I'll do next. It was on a one second okay. cooldown. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it now. Forty-six. Forty He's gonna hit next phase in a cup for about five percent. Okay, I'll put uh, let's, let's just at least see what happens there. Right, nice spreading out, guys. That looks good, though. But then again, actually, no, many, not many range dead. So Fishers, good job. Move out of that. Spread out again. Make sure to watch your eleven-yard range. Could, Forty percent incoming. Could, Shit. Could we have uh, two paladins pop right to fury and try and tank the two ads that are not being checked? Just the uh, kind by healing, I guess. So we have two. Basa tanking it. Uh, two paladins with righteous fury for the ads. Do we have ads incoming? Audrey. I see forty percent. Wait, where the ads? They're coming now, but they're a little slow. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the portals at the max. So there we go. But they're small. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, they're brigands, right? They come one by one. Ah, okay. That's gonna look good. That's something we can handle. Mm -hmm. The bloody mind control is just so the first crazy. Three, <laughs> the first three really should not be hit, right? The first three you just can be shackled one by one by one, and then number four and five are gonna be, be picked up by tanks. Assuming we're alive by then. Yep. So the worst thing that actually happened during this fight was the fact that we had melee getting ice blocked, and that probably had to do with uh, uh, Veronka's shapeshift. But it's just kind of uh, interesting because it was going very well until that point. Um, a, a little thing for the ads: can we have a paladin use righteous fury so they don't go to the middle, but we have them directed towards one point until the two last come? Because having three shaggled in the middle feels like a bad idea. In, in, well, it, it is going to mess up the DPS, I guess, the melee DPS, because they use. Uh... Exactly. So if we have one paladin standing to the side with righteous fury, the three first are going to go straight for them. It's uh, still, I mean, they come very controlled, and if we have a tank at the portal, they target like one person, and so it would the tank would be the second uh, to pick it up, so Sweet. it should be possible to even tank them with just minus 15 damage. Exactly. You know, but you don't know where it's going to spawn, that's random. No, 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 but the key is, if we know who they're going for, they, know, they don't change uh, target to begin with, and they are going to go to that spot so the tanks can pick them up easily. So if we have a Paladin pop right to Fury, they're always going to go for that guy because he's going to Which means easier to control them and pick them up as tanks. By the way, what happened on that... Uh... Uh, yeah, it was because uh, uh, also uh, asked for the Paladin to tank one. And yeah, I didn't know. That we shackled the first three ones. So that was my bad. Tank one? Yeah. Well, now we know to leave the first three alone. That wasn't clear from the start, so that should fix it. By the way, we were were we that unlucky? Like getting four tanks man controlled? Mm, what do you mean four tanks? They didn't get mind controlled. Uh, problem was we had two tanks on him, and both of those got mind controlled. Yeah. Oh, and remember when mind Gorg control, and Binky was when mind oh. control happened, stop DPSing because he aggro wipes. We saw him going for the mages. That's not something they can necessarily do anything about because if they have a big ignite up, then it's going to tick and it's going to go for the mage. So, Very true. So either we have them spec frost, or yeah, we need to tanks to be faster on it. I like the idea, instead of fighting fire with fire, we fight frost with mage with frost mages. Yeah, and then you won't kill the shadow weavers. <laughs> and uh, stop DPS before my control. But essentially it's like all tanks do not hold back, but uh, go for it, because of yeah. the MCs and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying from the beginning. But, um, that's great. Thank you, Basa. I'm kind of happy with what we're doing. We're getting closer. Exactly. Yeah. 38%! Um, so, hmm. 
Are you sure, Basa, about what you typed in the uh, officer chat? Because I'm not. Because I don't think the melee should be getting these um, these ice blocks. It can happen. It can happen to anyone. Yeah, it's yeah but that's it's simply it's bullshit easy. because it means you're all, well, you're going to have like five people hit by it all the time. Yep. Yeah, that's the way it works. Ugh. You this spread them out I to make sure it's only five. I was under the impression it was um, really a, a thing for ranged or whatever. Okay. It's all about luck. That's actually a fair point. So one tank is tanking it, no one should be near him. I, I see Millie on top of me. Bad idea. But then the other three tanks can be split into the remaining three groups will have Millie in on either side. Yes. So only one tank gets two at a time. Mm. It is. Yeah, yeah, I was pretty dropping yeah, like a stone, but I was. That was great, great. guys. That was looking good. Um, I think we got some shards to dish out hellstones. So. You can't so. use hellstones when you're frozen. You can't do anything when you're frozen. That's true, but for or after, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Imagine to survive that long was by popping a frost pot each time he was about to cast this stupid crap. As often as I could, anyway. Yeah, Frank, I, I was scared that. If you get really unlucky well, in your power shift, you get a detonate mana, but that's like almost impossible. All right. Mm. Okay, Quentin, what's going on? He's ready. Missing something? Oh, you are ready. Okay, no worries. All right, let's do this. Um, so, um, one thing I did notice. Let's go, guys. Let's move. Uh, one thing I did notice. Five. Four. Kisses Three, away? Oh, that two, sucks. Let's not go into the middle then, I guess? Okay. Go, go, go! Okay, but everybody click ready, so... Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, soul weavers. At the end, when we have a couple soul weavers up still, um, make sure that the rogues that are going on it, right, that you're DPSing on something where a range DPS has high threat on, or high aggro on, right? Because... Otherwise, you might get aggro, and then it's going to blow up in your face. Of course. So, Dismiss, please. Dismiss. So, be aware of that. Alright, A-bomb. That's going to be mine. So we were, yeah. Oh. Warriors and rogues assist on the skeletons with a gun or a bow. It helps a lot. Think. Think. Yeah. Next soul weavers up. Go kill it, guys. It's far away still. This is a great time to start killing it. A bomb for Urzel. So we have a Soul Weaver again at the entrance. It has a cross. Mm, no extra Soul Weaver, no band, no. We have one. 
Where? Okay, Dink got that? Yeah, Dink has it. Okay, it's marked with a skull. Kill it with fire, you guys. Yeah, good job. See all these mages pumping? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that as well, all gnomes. Fight, yeah, <laughs> fight a little horse, right? Our A-bomb, I'll take that. The fire brigade. A bomb for Urzel. Yeah, on Saren's side, there is a skull incoming after the cross dice. I think we have a square already. Yeah, coming. At the entrance is a square, but kill the skull first because that's closer. Nice one, Urzel. Gully behind this elbow. Good job. Yep. Another skelly left. So we need to go to the square next. When a skull is dead, go to the square, guys. At the end, ready to be a square. So where's the other one? I don't see the other one. Ah, cross. Okay. So after the square left of it is a cross. Okay. Kill the cross and the skull. Yeah, it's the, okay. The skull is left of KT. Can you behind this arbor? Okay, kill the skull when the cross is dead. Go switch to the skull. And then we have a, a skelly behind the A-bomb, it's not touched. Watch out. Dink, we have a... An A-bomb, let's see. Okay, A-bomb on Dink's side. You're busy, right, Gork? <laughs> yeah, second time it happens. Really? Yeah. A-bomb on my side. Uh, put a mark up, something else. Skeleton behind the A-bomb. Skeleton left side, closing in, and another one behind that. And I'll pick up this A-bomb as well. Two more left. Good job. Skeleton's incoming. Ramping for Katsu. Need to kill the skeletons, guys, come on. Keep guard up. Stun it, stun it. Yeah, we're gonna kill the cross first, range DPS. And then we're gonna kill the skull. We don't have any range DPS on that. Good job, Dink. Position yourself, melee. Mm. Skull uh, first. Melee, don't stand on the Melee. Thank you. Both the other sides. Sides. Urzel, you as well. Urzel, oh, the Dink, where are you? You should be on my side. Interrupt, interrupt. Uh, I'd like, okay. The, uh, the positioning with the melee is going totally wrong because the tank is yeah, in right, right. You need to be at the throne side, right? Okay, so, let's uh, change that around then, sure. Yeah, that's what I was, that's how I was to stand on Dink, but that's what I was uh, meant to be, but... Alright, keep going, keep going. We've got three dead at the moment. There's an eye, if you can, can you please res lecture? Stand a bit backwards, hello. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Fucking uh, hell. This is why the melee DPS also needs to spread out, right? You need to be at max range from KT. I don't know how big his hitbox really is, but... It is big. I, I, I we're getting, we're getting ice blocked all over the place because people are not DPSing at max range. So for example, Kavas, right? You're standing a little bit too close on him. You can go more backwards because otherwise you will chain the, chain the ice block, right? Cool, cool. Let's go near the edge of the green circle. Alright, stop, uh, stop healing. Just wipe this. This is, uh, this is not going anywhere. 
Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Um, I thought we were told to split up into the melee camps, so if a tank gets iced, not all the tanks get iced. I mean, we switch yeah. to the tank camp then, no worries, but uh, yeah. Don't yeah. we get iced all at once then? I don't think I'm... Let's I'm say, gonna... if a tank gets iced, and all the tanks stack up on you, then all the tanks are iced at once. I guess that's correct. So, uh, I think that's why Dinky proposed to split up the tanks among the melee camps. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I um, I, th I think it's even better to just have two tanks at once on KT, and to still have the other ones back off. And when uh, threat light, you have the other tanks come in, because for this, for this exactly, exactly this reason, actually. Okay. Uh, so I just yeah, don't I just... think it's good to have the melee, uh, the tank split over the melee DPS. And the melee DPS need to be aware that you need to be at max range from KT. So because we had several chains in the melee groups go to the other melee groups, right? A lot of people died from that. The thing is, when we have MC on a tank, oh, and uh, the, the, ta the tanks that hold back, they won't be able to pick up. So people brought stuff for four or five attempts. That really doesn't help, guys. You got to bring. Actually, going KT, faster. right? Yeah. This is this is KT. Uh, also, melee doesn't less in the face when a stack does go on the edge of the green circle. Inside, in the center. Yeah, ideally you want to spread out as fast as we can, but it's a bit rough if we still have soul weavers up. They need to be killed, we can't. All right. Let's get this bastard. Okay, right. if you insist. I think the... <laughs> I do. Um, so I think the Soul Weavers yeah, wasn't too bad at all. And um, no melee got... Did, did any melee get damaged from that when they died or something? Or... No, we are, I'm pretty sure nobody did die. Well, a couple of us melee was on Soul Rivers and we didn't die. We didn't, yeah, we did it, we did, no issue. From behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it chained. Yeah, it chained also, unfortunately, so. Need to need to make sure that you're DPSing him at max range. All melee needs to make DPS him at max range. Don't stand too close to them. You will chain the ice block.
parents have a look. Just chugging some pots. Sure. Chug, chug, chug. So we are standing thrown side then, not splitting up among the camps, right? Yeah, I'd like, I'd like, um, so Dinky's gonna start, and uh, Gork's gonna be his backup, and you and me are just gonna go back at the throne like we did, actually. Roger that. But whenever there's a, a mind control countdown, and I'll try to announce them, because I'm not really sure if DPS telling them, DBM is telling about them, or announcing them. Um, okay. Uh, but I'll try to announce them so we can go in um, yeah. Uh, Dre? Yeah? Uh, the, the mind control things, I mean, it has a cooldown of one minute, but he doesn't necessarily use it right after one minute, just like Thaddeus, so you can't necessarily know when it comes. Sure. Uh, that's not how we signed it at the start. We signed group eight right side, seven front side, five left side from here. Uh, he's telling about from KT. Yeah, so, so, so was I when we were explaining it in a room. So I really hope we're not confusing people. Um, so if okay. we, uh, I stick to Bassa's stick to Bassa's assignment, then yeah, it's, isn't that the same as front, right, left? Right, I don't see the difference, but sure. Um, Right, so I really would like the main tank to be on the throne side of KT. And uh, we're going to have, um, what did Badass Bus assign? He assigned group 7, so in the middle, which is in the front, which is the side you're looking on now. We're going to have group 5 on the right side from KT, the way you're looking at him now. We're going to have group 8 on the left side then. What way around? Maybe. Basically, where I am is where the group eight is going to stay. Max range, max range. Yeah, but the the healers need to go a bit back as well. Eight, seven by the door, and then exactly five on the right. Yes, and the tank will be on the throne side. Yeah, but the thing that's killing us twice now is because people are getting uh, ice blocked in the melee. That's the biggest issue I can see at the moment. So, yeah. All right, so one more ready. Let's see if everybody's here. And then we're going to start to finish. Just back on the edges of the green circle. And you're going to see it from there. Yeah, max range. It's fine. It shouldn't be a problem. We, we've already done the assignments now, guys. So let's please leave it at this. Every melee should be clear on it now, and if not, please speak up. Is it Lecter? Yes. Apparently there's a, a Onyxia heading coming in 10 minutes. Oh, it's uh, heading... It doesn't seem to be the problem at the minute, though, does it? It's not yeah, DPS at the minute, we're it's slacking, not is about it? The it's it's mm -hmm. the tactic. Yeah. Let's go. Well, it's not irrelevant, um, but yeah. Definitely not irrelevant. Let's go. Well, we killed Seth Five, without buffs, so four, we can kill this three, fucker without... Two, right, also one. Yeah. It's all good days, we just get into the room and kill the odds. Alright, so unless you have like, our tank or, or you have an assignment to do something on this, please um, don't, uh, don't talk too much on this phase. Because a lot of people talking really doesn't help. All right, let's do this. Okay, I accidentally clicked the timer away for the next phase. Four minutes thirty-five. I'll be there. 
Okay, we got a Soul Weaver. Alright, picking it up. A bomb dinky, yeah. Got a skeleton there, good job. I'll be looking on soul weavers. We got I mean, yeah. Uh I got switched to cross, but I guess it doesn't matter. Drock, can you take that? Yeah, cool. Okay. So right side of KT, we have a skull. Good job. A bomb, Ertzel. Yep. Ross is up, opposite side of where the skull is. A bomb, that's going to be mine. Skull. Uh, two cubbies to the left. Cross is almost on the opposite side of this. No, it's not. It's three cubbies to the right side from where you're DPSing now. I'll take that. A bomb. Just 10 minutes. Boris, use your fear. Thank you as well. Uh, we got a whole minute. All right, so focus on killing the soul weavers. Kill the skeletons, guys. One can's coming in. Good job on the stun there. Nice one. Two behind the bomb. And uh, yeah, kill the square first. Then go over the skull. Urzel, can you pick up that? Yeah. Um. So Dinky can get ready for KT. Okay, we still got a minute though, but... Oh, I thought you just said you had more than a minute. Okay. Uh, so I'll take that one. It's right now for me, but... Yep, same for me. 55. Got that turn. A-bomb left side. So we need to kill... Dink, you got that? No. Gork, go with Dink, please. Uh, Babe Gork, on the right side. side. Perfect, Gork. Are we better resing Urzel? No. I don't think we have better reses at the moment. Oh, I have one. I think we need all things. Kill the square, guys. Kill the square. And then go on the cross. I'll kill the, I'll get the A-bomb. Skeleton behind the A-bomb. Watch it. Several even. 10 seconds. Kill the skeletons. Nice shackles. Good job there. Not an A-bomb incoming. I'll pick that up. Kill the soul weavers. After the A-bomb dies. Melee as well. Well, rogues that is. We need the warriors on KT. Position KT, please. So look at what's being tanked. Don't over aggro melee. Position it, please. On the throne side. Group two. 
Group two. Group three next. Yeah, you gotta stay out. Group one now. Uh, we have uh, people standing close to the throne, so I can't go there. But it's just what it is, I guess. Keep going. No, what's up with this old river? It's still not dead? No, he's No, it's dead. Okay. Move back a little bit more, guys. Can we keep Xaldin up? Yeah. Heals Xaldin, 1% health. Xaldin, stay with your group, please. Xaldin. Warriors, use your fear. Okay, Dre got. Keep Dre up. That was a good one. Really good one. I don't see fear. Um, okay. Thank you. Oh, there we go. MC Dre, I got stunned, so I need a fear on me. Sheep for the dark. Good job, Zanaya. Very nice. Dead. That's it, sir, hey, sir. Guys, we can see we have raid frames. We can see people dying, so no need to tell us on disc. Alright, so heal the melee up if you can. I'm gonna try and get a healer up. Or yeah. not. Did you got him? Should be out of range. Fisher, Fisher, Fisher. Good job. Any any chance of getting him back in the middle? Nah. Uh, three tanks dead, so we got Dink still. But Dink is mind controlled, so. So four more seconds, but yeah. Dink is got him, so. Oh, Leah, fade that, fade that. I move to the middle, please. Ask too many people dead already. Ah, stop healing, wipe it. Stop healing, just wipe it. There's no point. So many DPS dead. I'm legitimately finding popping um, cross parts is genuinely helping. Also, the position now of the frost tomb is like uh, diagonal, not in all in one, so we didn't stay properly again. I think we're getting a better understanding of them, so we'll get it eventually. <laughs> Fifty-seven percent. Actually, it was fifty-two. Well, it wasn't a kill, so I'm yeah. not sure if it matters. Move back to sec. I know it can be hard in the situation, but we really need to. When he moves away to get him back in the middle, because else we healers have to push through other healers and DPS to be within range. We really need him in the middle.
By the way, I didn't die from Keltuzad tanking. Love Coil killed me. Oh no. Problem. Sorry. Yeah, but that's that's actually the problem. Is that whenever the timer for mind control comes up, the people that are going to do the mind control, they need to stop and then prepare mind control. Um, the crowd control, sorry. The problem is we don't know when when mind control is. He can cast it. It has one minute's cooldown, and then he can cast it again, or maybe in two minutes. That's a long time for a DPS to do nothing. I just messaged Alara to see if he could swap out for me, but I told I Alara like five minutes ago to come to EPL. Have you got to go over here? Just to come to EPL. I'm not going in there. No, oh, got you. Oh, my Alright, um, we're getting Alara in. There he is. Alara, Alara. Give him a hand. Okay. Yeah, we need to spread out better. Uh, still a lot of deaths because people are not spreading out. Um, and they're just killing us. Um, unless we're going to get that pretty much close to perfect, we're not going to kill KT. So it needs to be better. Everybody needs to do the range 11 and use it. And if you're a healer, you have priority over where you're standing over uh, our range DPS. And the reason for this range DPS is because healers need to be able to reach melee DPS and tanks. And if they can't reach them, then we're going to die anyway, right? So, yeah. Uh, so we're waiting for Alara to arrive at the moment. And we're going to have... Um, uh, this is going to be the last attempt. Because we're not going to bash our head another hour or whatever to on KT. Uh, we will just um, uh, have a good attempt or, or kill it. I mean, that would be amazing, right, if we do that. Um, and then we're going to reflect a bit on, on what happened and what we learned. Because I did think we had a couple of very good attempts. Um, and I, I think we're actually ready to kill him. Um, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So we're gonna. Uh, Alara can actually be here quickly, right? Or is he already inside? Oh, he's already in. Okay, great. That's amazing. Alara, uh, you are going to be part of group. And it doesn't really matter because they had even amounts of melee assigned to them. All at four, right? Yeah. yeah so you can be. Right? Yeah, everyone at four. So you can be part of group uh, five. So if you look at, see, do you see the green patch in the middle of the room, uh, Alara? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have, um, we're gonna have uh, KT tanked. We're gonna try to have KT tanked in the middle of that green patch. Dinky's gonna be standing on the other side of KT at the throne, in which uh, KT's standing just in front. And you're gonna be in the group that's gonna be standing left side of KT, okay? Thank you. Yeah, I hope you've seen some videos so you know what I'm talking about uh, in, regard, in regards to the uh, spreading out and the grouping. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I assumed as much. All right, I'm still missing some buffs. Oh, I just got my food buff. Molten cheese, white bread, and foie gras. Can I have Ooh. some? Of course, come over. I'll save some. 
I'll be there in an hour. Awesome. Frankfurt, that's like over four. I think you you, you can only you can only have it if if we kill KT. Oh, okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> I'll hold back. <laughs> so, Elsa, you're going on a strike, hunger strike. All right. Elsa, Elsa, sorry. Um, we're gonna do a ready check. Get him, boys, get him. Hey, Jackie, mm -hmm. welcome back. 38% best. Yup, yup. Alright, so pop everything you have. I still had a Spirit of Zansa left apparently in my bags. Frost Protection Potion, popping everything I have. Ooh, Spirit of right. still Everybody's ready? One. Yeah, pop it if you have it. Well, let's do this. Five. Let's four, move, let's move. Three, two, one. We're actually pretty close to a kill. It's looking pretty good. I'm almost trying to. Hmm. I'm not sure anymore if Saffron is the hardest boss in here. I mean, I guess damage wise it should be. Alright. Let's do this. Fuck up, fuck up are more punishable on KT. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm noticing as well. I guess that's it. If you fuck up on Saffron, you just die alone. Yep. If you fuck up here, you take five with you. Okay, we got a uh, Gork. Can you take that? Yeah, cool. Gork, I got a A bomb. First A bomb incoming. So, how are we on Soul Weaver? Should be starting soon, I think. Yeah, perfect. Got Soul Weaver incoming. Marked with a cross, I think. Cool, cool. And, um. GPS, make sure your tank has picked it up. Because I'm not going to run out of the circle, right? I'm going to pick it up on the edge of the. Well, this brown bar you see around the green patch. So a bomb. I'm gonna pick that one up. And you make sure to kill the soul weavers fast. A bomb, Gork. Don't go out too far, Gork. So when the skull dies, we have a cross on the side. Good job, range. That's nice because it's still in the cubby, right? Skeleton's looking good as well. So uh, one thing we learned right from this first phase already is there's going to be skeletons behind a bombs sometimes. So be aware because those fuck us up. A bomb, Russell. Right, so kill the skull. Soul at the entrance. There's a skull soul weaver. Looking good in the skeleton. We had a a bomb Urzel. There is a cross up left side KT. Gork, Gork, we have an A-bomb. Yeah, good job. Okay, we got a skull. Off the cross. There's a skull. So kill the cross. And, uh, yeah, left of the entrance, we have a square up as well. Yeah, A-bomb. Urzel has it. Another one. Yeah, Dean can get that one. So when the skull dies, go in the square, guys. And we have uh, from the entrance, there's one incoming. Mark for the cross. Oh, but go in the square first. Kill the square first. Skull. Okay, this these need to die faster. These soul weavers are dying too slow. We have skeletons incoming. A bomb. Or 
uh, for Dinky yeah. approach. The Soul Eager is getting too close. Yeah. Needs to die faster. New square, new square, behind you, please. When a square is dead, kill the cross, and we have a skull on the other side. A skull, soul weaver, the other side. A bomb for Gork. Need to die faster. Perhaps melee can help out on the cross because Triss is aggro, so melee can help out on the on the cross. A bomb. I'll pick that up. Good. Okay. I'll prepare for K two then. Skull is way too close. Skeletons, skeletons. So the skull is can be killed by it's being tanked by warlock. So Mela can go on it. Further away, love call. Further away. Yeah, she needs yep. to move away. Perfect. Okay, square now. Mela can go on square. I'll pick up that. We have skeletons incoming. Skeletons, guys, watch it. Oh, how'd you do that, Dark? Knight? Abo, 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 nation. Erzul, a bomb. Kitty soon. Stun this, stun this. Okay, kill the cross first, melee. Oh, no, so we after the mini. First, and then skull. We have a um, warlock on the skull. Rogues. Fisher, Fisher. Rogues and all people. Fisher. There will be no escape. Mind control. Handle it. Oh, <laughs> people dying left, right, and center. She. A soul reaver exploded us. Okay. Yeah, this is not good enough. Uh, so it's just still one soul reaver up at like forty percent. Yeah, this this was the difference of uh, one ranged over one midway. Yeah, I think it does. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Stacked. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps we need to make it three goes, but well, I don't know. We'll see. Ah, let's keep going. It's the last try, so. Okay, Dre's mind controlled, so stun me so I can be slept if so. Nice. Uh oh, thanks, sir. Okay. Alright, stop healing, guys. Wipe it. Alright. I hoped we were going to get it tonight, but uh, apparently not. So, um, like I said, we're going to reflect on this because I think there's a couple things we can change or improve anyway. Um, yeah, doing this, things the same way and expecting a better result is not very logical. So, yeah, I'm going to reflect on this. Sorry? All right. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Half-stoned. <laughs> I didn't have a couple of but Half-stoned still worked. <laughs> Uh, anyway, thank you for joining tonight. I think we still learned a lot, and we're, we're close to a KT kill, right? I mean, we're not that far off at all. Uh, well, we had a good attempts. Yeah, 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 it was very nice. 38% was great. It's close, but uh, yeah, this fight is very punishing. Um, I'm, well, the way I look at it, it might be the most punishing fight in here, but still a very good fight. So, thank you for tonight's great, and I hope to see you again on Thursday. Indeed. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you Thanks, next. everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Nice swiping. Good job. <laughs> yeah. oh, really great learning the fight. That's yeah, all the experience we need later. I yeah, agreed. Thanks, Ertzel.